Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are doing Star Voyager. All right, let's see what we have today, shall we? So we got coordinates, we got A, J, I, H, we got numbers and letters, that's kind of interesting. We got a large vastness of space here. Do we just shoot first, ask questions later? All right, so holding our button kicks in our thrusters. All right, so we went to subspace and now we're, like all in all, it seems like this game is vastly empty. Like, there's not even like a planet. Even the stars are just like little bop, uh, little <laughs> dots that never get any bigger, that never really do anything. It's kind of disappointing. Albeit, it does have an interesting little system uh, for figuring out where you're going, kind of. But all things considered, yeah, you kind of know where you are in the vastness of space briefly, but there's nothing here to matter. Like, this is not anything. Like, Granted, I can imagine that this is kind of what space would actually be like for the most part, but like, come on, seriously. We're, 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 <laughs> we're moving past belief and realism and going into just silliness for playing a game, but you know, this does not make a game. Realism does not really work well in in gaming for the most part. You gotta suspend belief and just have fun with things, you know? And this, this is not doing it. All right, so holding the button down, you, you slowly kick in your thrusters, and then when you wanna break, you hit the button once and you slow back down. It looks like our energy is on the right. Everything we do uses some of it. I'm guessing maybe those dots up top are like fuel cells. So the more we use, as we use our energy, we will deplete another cell. But this is not, like, can you imagine owning this? Like, we... Like, what is really the point? Are we supposed to be finding something? Are we traveling through space in hopes of figuring out something? Like, if we're trying to pinpoint, like, one item with no maps, no charts, no nothing, like, that's a needle in a haystack. Like, we can sit at E5 all day and not run into anything and then got to move into your next one. Go to G5. Yeah, see, then the other thing is our fuel cell. Now we got full fuel, uh, full energy again. 
And and that's kind of what's going on. We're hoping to run into something. This is not a very fun game. Do we have any kind of... Okay, so we do have stuff. I mean, apparently there's stuff in here. Let's see, 5E, we can run into a planet, 5F. Let's see, 5F, that's where we're at. So where's our ship at? Like there seems to be a map and there actually does seem to be stuff in this game somewhere. Harbor thing is just to actually find it. Like I think we're coming closer to it. Like I guess we're the box and as we go Everything's kind of moving. I don't know. Everything seems to be right where it was when we did it the first time. Like, I guess we're getting there? I would like to at least see something before we end this video, because you know that <laughs> this does not make a good video at all, does it? Like, like nothing seems to be getting closer. Oh, this is boring as hell. Like, I must say, out of all the games we played on this channel, they be they good, bad, just off, whatever the case may be, at least 99% of them actually had something going on. Whether it was something you wanted going on or not, and as bad as it may have been, but this, wow, like, my lord, it's just... I guess they're getting closer. We spent like a good, what, five, six, seven minutes just flying through empty space. All right, let's go this way. I. All right, so we could we, when we hit the button again, we can slow down without uh, coming to a complete stop. I'm trying to see if we can get closer to whatever that. Uh, whatever this may be here. 3B. Let's see if we can. 3B. Kind of where we're where we're at a bit. Like I guess we're not reading the map correctly. I don't get it. Well, what is green, orange? Uh, map V three B. That should. I, I I don't know. We're we're at a loss here. Just 
still nothing. I thought we were like getting somewhere. I thought, hey, we're getting closer to some of the stuff. Like it just kind of passed us by a little bit there. I, I don't know. The map is like very so basic. It's like it doesn't seem to be overly readable. I mean, within something that's 360 degrees all the way around, is having some basic little flat whatever doesn't seem to be doing justice here. Are we having fun yet? Enemy found. Oh wow, we actually found an enemy. At least our computer did. We didn't find Jack Squat at the moment. Oh, we are actually on something. All right, let's slow down. Let's see if we can find this enemy. Oh, whoa, there we go. It's... Jesus, we found an enemy and we just got completely destroyed. Wow, there's a lot of them. There's no like really... Uh... And we are out, like, just like that. We spent all that time, and everything, we got bombarded. Like, we got, we stood no chance. They all just, and boom, we're done. Like, this has got to be, like, this really is in the top 10 of some of the worst games I think we've played on this channel. Like, there is very little gameplay in this game. I would almost rather play Cheetah Man than play this game. Like, as bad as it is, at least you could do more playing Ghostbusters than you can playing this damn game. This game was very, very just awful. So, uh, I'm not going to continue. I don't wish to do this one again. I find this game very, very just lackluster to say the least. Like, we spent a good majority of the time just floating through this space. And then here we are. And then we get finally find something and it just completely obliterated us in seconds. It took us that long to find it just to lose in like a split second is ridiculous. So uh, with that being said guys, that was Star Voyager. I would highly recommend you completely bypassing this game altogether. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.